so with this I just press till it gets all the way down to the base of the bracket and then I can tighten so that it holds secure. I'm gonna uh, hold the instrument with one hand and just kind of support her tooth with the other hand. I'm gonna rock mesial or distal, so this one I'm gonna rock mesial and just pops right off like that. Wow. Is that uncomfortable at no, all? No, not at all. All right, let's do a few more. This one I'm gonna turn it over so that the handle's facing the mm -hmm. other way. And I'm gonna make sure it goes all the way down against the base of the bracket. I don't just want it high, holding the tie wings, I want it holding the whole bracket. And then we're just gonna rock mesial like that. Mm -hmm. We'll do the lateral. Usually these are the ones that are hardest to remove with a ligature clipper or a sushi plier. So we're gonna tighten. I'm gonna hold the tooth. This rock mesial comes right off. How's that feeling? Perfect. All right, wonderful. So no up or down, it's just mesial. No up or down, just mesial distal, seated all the way. I think the biggest mistake you could make is not having it seated up against the tooth. Exactly, or it'll sl it'll slip off. Does that lock it in place when you twist it yeah. down? Yeah, since the braces are different widths, then uh, this tool has to be adaptable to the different widths of the braces. So I'll show you what happens if you don't lock it down all the way. Right now I only have it partially on the bracket and I'm going to turn it, but when you go it just slips off. So you have to open it up all the way. Sometimes you have to push a little bit to make sure that you're all the way down at the base of the bracket. I'm still not at the base, I can feel it. There we go. That's secure. Turn it so it's tight. There you go. Sometimes if I rock one way, it doesn't work, I'll rock the other way. That bracket, there's a little, it's staining in the adhesive around it, but that'll polish right off.